earthquake. One month after an earthquake shook Morocco, killing nearly 3,000 and leveling buildings in villages throughout the Atlas Mountains, residents are beginning to grapple with the challenges posed by rebuilding. Alongside piles of rubble, where homes stood not long ago, the rhythm of village life began to return to Amizmiz, 36 miles from Marrakesh. Living in a tent is totally different from living in a house. The children just started going to school again. Life in a house is different, so much different from life in a tent. We suffer a lot. During the day it's very hot and during the night it's very cold. The winter is very close and we're afraid from suffering again. Residents worry about housing, economic recovery and psychological support for their friends and neighbors. We got humanitarian aid, but you know, in terms of our mental state, it's very bad to leave the house and to live outside in the streets. If you talk about women, it's very bad for them. They suffer from pollution, they can't go to exterior toilets, but after that, the situation had improved a little bit. We received more aid, like the toilets and tents, but still the mental state of our children and our mental state is not good. Though the earthquake left physical scars in Amizmiz, some businesses have reopened their owners determined to bounce back despite the clear challenges. It wasn't long ago I opened the grocery shop. As you can see, it's empty. Even the clients who owe me left. No one paid me. So we're still waiting for a solution. Many who lacked the means to own a home before the earthquake will rely on an equivalent of $243 depend while homeowners will benefit from rebuilding funds and allowed to return after.